Welcome back to the 2020 Jefferson Awards Special. Before we tell you who this year's finalist is, we want to once again thank our sponsors, Genesis Health System and Budget Blinds. They've been so supportive of the Jefferson Awards for a number of years, and we are proud to be partners with them. It's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. I have the winners right here in this envelope. So Doug, I'm gonna pass it to you for your final remarks. Great, and I'm so excited, Angie, to see who the 2020 winner is. Here you go, John. Thanks, Doug. I too am so excited to see who the 2020 winner is. Thank you, John and Doug. Here's how we surprised our finalists. Hi, girls. Hello. How's Hello. it going? It's, going good. it's so nice to see you. <laughs> I am delivering gifts to all of our 2020 Jefferson Award nominees. So I have a gift for you. It's a bunch of donations to your nonprofit, oh, Closet for Closet. But open it up because there's a special item on top for you as well. Is it the dog? No, I'm joking. Oh. oh. There's another one in there. Oh, that's yours. Oh, I see, I see. Congratulations, you're our 2020 Jefferson Awards finalists. Oh, oh wow, shoot. really? <laughs> thank, you. Awesome. thank you. Congratulations. This is awesome. We're oh, so proud you. of you guys. I, like I, you I know, air <laughs> hug, right? Uh, High yeah. fives, high fives. <laughs> okay. Good That's job. Awesome. We're so proud of you and so excited for you to represent the QC in Washington, DC. Amy and Amber are the founders of Closet to Closet. The nonprofit collects donations for children in the foster care system. And the twins are staying busy even during the COVID-19 pandemic. Even though clients can't come and shop for free at Closet to Closet's location in Rock Island, Amy and Amber are filling up care packages and delivering them directly to those who need their help. And they say there's a silver lining to all of this. We Do still we, get like donations. We've already seen that. There's been a lot. Of <gasps> yeah, just because during quarantine, like, there's not much to do. So people are like cleaning out the closets, and then like my friends are like just dropping off, like, well, like this, like dropping off um, just like packages on our doorstep. So. Yeah. <laughs> so it's nice. Not with the words in them, but like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no medals in those. <laughs> I just love their laughs, don't you? Amy and Amber really are multiplying good in our community by helping others who are in the same situation they were in just a few years ago. After spending four years in the foster care system, moving a total of 15 times, they were adopted by Allison and Daniel Haskell, joining their family to make a perfect pyramid of six. Amy and Amber both go to Augustana College. Amber wants to go into social work and Amy wants to become a biologist. And we promise to bring you updates when the National Jefferson Award Ceremony takes place this fall. Congratulations to them and to every single one of our 2020 Jefferson Awards nominees. An incredible group of people multiplying good in our community, proving that one person really can make a difference. If you'd like to learn more about their missions, go to WQAD.com, click the As Seen on TV tab. And do you know someone who could be our next nominee? We're getting ready for season seven. So if you know an unsung hero who is multiplying good, you'll also find the nomination form at the same spot on our website. Thank you for joining us for our 2020 Jefferson Awards special. I would also like to thank photographer Juwan Arrington, director Bill Dapelaire, and graphics artist Jordan Martinez for helping me put this program together. It has been an honor to tell the stories of these incredible people in our community, and these stories need to be told now more than ever. I'm Angie Sharp. Have a great weekend.